Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to create this beautiful Clash of Clans dashboard. And first of all, I want to thank you to the Supercell company for creating this amazing game. And I'm really a big fan of Clash of Clans. So I decided to create this tutorial for you to uh, get better familiar with uh, React and also TypeScript and HTML CSS using inside of this uh, type of project. So let's have a look at this and the structure of this project and on the left side we have this avatar and we have this username and the full name of the user we have this menus here clash con board friends news setting and each of them has its icons which we will use react icons library for them and also we have this label of the dashboard and also the version of the dashboard here on the bottom we have the separator here for the left side and right side and on the right side we have the title we have an input and we have some cards for each uh, clash of clans troop and you can see that they have some different scores which every score is shown by a star and it is really beautiful and every card has its own box shadow and also you can see that we have this customized scroll bar and this scroll bar is dedicated just to this part and you can see that the whole uh, screen is not scrolling and also this part is uh, static so you can see that we have some different troops here and we are showing them and also let's see the responsive version of our dashboard and you can see that i use refresh to show you okay you can see that now the left side is gone but i have this beautiful uh, toggle button here down and if i click on it the left side will be opened automatically with this beautiful transition let me show you again this is it and the background is changed and also the hover color is changed and also you can see that we have this beautiful border radius again here and that's it so this is the final of well, this is the final product of this video and by the way you want uh, to use this you can simply go to the github repository of this video and uh, it is this devempower slash coc dash dashboard dash react dash ts and you can use these codes and because in the future it may be updated be sure to use codes inside of this branch v 1.0.0 because if on the feature I update this uh, project I will use some different branches for them so you can be sure that this branch of v1.0.0 uh, is the codes of this video so you can simply use it and use the assets for for example the images all is here and you can use them and also for the components for, let's say on the cut sections that you want to use them for example for this part, you can simply copy them and uh, come with me and also this uh, array which will be used in this video. You can simply copy them and just see what I'm doing on this video. So let's go to the project and continue our coding. So let's uh, start with creating our new project using React and TypeScript. You can see that I'm on uh, create React app documentation and it says that for creating a TypeScript and you can use simply this code I will copy this and here I will open a new terminal and paste the codes npx create react app a name dash dash template TypeScript but for name I change this to coc dash dashboard dash react dash ts and I press enter uh, it will start to create this project and we will wait for it and it seems that it's installed let's okay it says that happy hacking and uh, that's good let's open our new project in vs code and uh, from view terminal i open a new terminal and i say npm start to start our projects and let's see it that's good let's do some cleanup here delete setup test 
رپورت وب وایتالز ریاکت اپ ام دات دی لوگو دات اس وی جی ایندکس سی اس اس اپ دات تست اند اپ دات سی اس اس اند این ساید اپ ایندکس دات تی اس سیکس وی دیلیت دیس لاین اند دیس لاینز اند آلسو دیس لاین اند دیس لاین نو وی هاف سام پرابلمز اند ایتس هیر لیتس دیلیت لیتس دیلیت دیس لاین and these lines that's good and delete everything inside of this div with class name of app and change this to container i want to use this name and here i say app component in react ts and uh, let's format our document okay now we have a just simply a div with class name of container inside this app and Let's see the result, app component in React. Yes, that's good. Uh, now let's start. We need to use SAS. So I install it. I say npm i SAS because I want to use uh, a CSS module files and it's a good idea. Also, I need to use npm i React icons. I need to use this package. So I install this. That's good. Let's see package.json. You can see that we installed React icons and SAS. And that's good. Now let's create a global SAS file. So I say global.scss and import this file inside of my index.tsx. Import that slash global.scss. Now it will be globally used on all of my project. And here I say star and star before and star after use some css reset padding of zero margin of zero but sizing of border box and also i change my font family to aria uh, let's format document and see the result okay that's good we have no padding and margin and our font is changed that's good now let's close this and i want to use some different uh, css codes on my project and i want some of them to be reusable so we can use a beautiful feature of sas which is mixing and let's do this inside of this src let's create a new file for our mixing we can use underline or underscore mixings.scss and this says that this is a partial file but Let's not focus on this. Here we can use some static mixins and some dynamic mixins and import them everywhere we want. For example, I want to use a mixin for, let's say, for my background. For example, I say transparent one. And here I want to create, for example, a background of, let's say, red. And now I can use this. Here we can simply import it in add sign import dot slash mixins. Now for that container class, I can use that using add sign include the name and uh, this parentheses and uh, let's format document and see the result. That's good. You can see that we have the background of red. Um, but let's here. Let's say that our width is 100 viewport width and our height is 100 viewport height good uh, now I want to use some uh, variables inside of my CSS so I create them using uh, root and I will paste them here so you can simply copy them from the github repository which links is in the video description or you can use your custom colors i use these colors and uh, let's format document okay so inside of this route we will define these four colors and we can use them everywhere because we are using this global.css here inside this index.tsx and this will be used everywhere so let's use them and inside this mixing I instead of this background I use a linear gradient and its direction would be to the left top and the first color would be 
dash dash primary one and the second color would be this variable dash dash secondary one format document let's see the result okay it is not working we need to see why and This is the transparent one. Let's copy these names again. That's good. Okay, I think we had a problem. Yeah, that's right. Now you can see that we have this beautiful background. And also, I want to use another one. In this project, I'm using two. So this is the second colors transparent. And if I change this to transparent two, you can see that this is this color and uh, it's a simple lighter and I want to use them for my background. Let's uh, have some different mixings and uh, define them here to use them. So I want to use, let's for example, I need a mixing for my displays. And uh, in this mixing, I want to use display of flex and justify content of center and align items of center so and for the name i use the flex c c and you can use any name you want i want to use this this uh, name with the d flex cc and use these values and this is a good idea to use them everywhere we want and also we can use them dynamically so i will copy this to show you what is the uh, dynamic version of it so Instead of this, I say deflex, and this time I can have two input. I say, for example, this is a variable, and the first variable is justify, and the second is align. And instead of this static value, I say justify content would be this input, and align items would be this input. The line. Now we have, you know, you can see that this is a dynamic, and uh, let's say this is a static, and uh, this is dynamic. And uh, we are not going to cover all of the SAS features, we have a lot of features here, but this is simply work for this uh, little project. And also, let's have another mixings and use it. So I need a new mixing for my box shadow and here I use a box shadow of 0, 0, 20 pixel and a RGBA. RGBA has two different types, the color alpha and red, green, blue alpha. You can use any of them. There is no difference between them. I use this and this is my box shadow. So we have some different mixings and we can use them everywhere we want. And here in the container, uh, I can, let me show you that. Now this, everything is here, but I want them to be here center. I can use this deflex CC. I copy the name and here I say also include this. And let's see the result. That's good. So let's work on this app component uh, is, that is here and work on it. Inside of this app, I want to create a new component and work with it. And uh, this is a good idea of splitting, split our code into different components. So I create a home component for this section. And uh, let's do this inside of this RC, create folder name, compone, compone and inside of it we create a new folder name home and inside of home I create a home.tsx also a home.scss this module will work for this home that's good and let's close this mixing and global and here I open this to be to split right. I will open this home here and let's create a new functional component. You can use some extensions. Let me show you ES7. This ES7 snippets 
uh, uh, I sorry this ES7 extensions help you to write some codes here using a snippet and you can use them I want to use one of them and here I say RAFCE here it will create a new component for me and that's good component of home and here I will import that home it will be automatically imported from slash components slash home slash home and this home is the file now let's work here I said this class name is home and because we imported we should yes we should see this it's here now let's work on this home and import the, the module the CSS file from dot slash home dot scss and here let's create dot home and work on these files the first thing is I want this width to be 100% but I want my max width to be 1200 pixel and for a background color let me show you this FFF okay now that's it and before this let's set the height of 90 viewport height and now this is our container and inside our container we have this home and we are working on this and I want to use one of my mixing so I import it again in here at some import from dot dot slash dot dot slash mixins and now I have access to this mixing and I will include the transparent one from the underlying mixings let's see the result yes you can see that it's working and it is overwriting this background color and no this is really good idea of using this transparent here because we can use this in every component and every CSS file we want no let's have a border radius of 2 rem good and uh, also let's have the box shadow so I say include box shadow 1 that's good and also I want to use display of flex for this and I will delete the overflow of x and hidden it now you can see that we don't have, will have any overflow here and this is really beautifully created and we can use it also this background is transparent and it is different from that uh, main background and let me show you here on the underlying mix scenes we created two different transparent and we can use any of them we want and that's it so uh, inside of this home which is this we want to use two different parts the first one is this side and the next one is here the content and we work on them so let's do this and inside of this home uh, for the left side we need to create a component and also for the right side so we create them and use them here so let's create a new folder and inside of the components we create site inside of this site we need to use site.tsx and also site.scss and that's it so this site would be here I want to use on this here and also inside this site I create RFCE uh, it creates a site let's have a class name of site and here I want to use an avatar image so I will copy all of my pictures I needed let's create a new folder name assets inside of the assets let's create a new folder name images and here we can paste all of images we want and I will paste them here and we will continue you can by the way you can download these images from the 
GitHub repository or you can use your own image, anything you want. So let's copy them and continue. So I copied all of the images and inside of assets we have this image folder and here you can see that for example Archer, Avatar, Baby Dragon, Barbarian, Bowler, everything you want is copied here and you can use them. And for now I want to use this Avatar. So let's do this. And let's import the avatar from dot dot slash dot dot slash assets slash images slash avatar dot png and that's it but now we have a problem and uh, let's see what's this it says avatar is declared but its value is never used and it says cannot find module of avatar.png or its corresponding type declaration this is a typescript related problem and we will solve it soon but uh, for now let's create our structure here and see what we will have inside of this side I want to use three different parts here the first one is dot profile and uh, let's type profile the second part is links with class of links and the last one is info with this info and inside of this profile I want to have image and src would be this avatar so I used it right now and uh, spam with with uh, class name of username and also a uh, span with class name of full name and uh, for the username I say at sign def empower and for the full name I say this is my name Matahiri that's it so let's uh, handle this uh, problem that it is corresponding to the declaration and we need to declare them here so inside of this src we will need to create a new file and the name is declaration dot d dot ts okay declaration dot d dot ts and here we need to declare some modules and uh, we need to have all of the modules we want for example module uh, star.png we need to use it and also we can use uh, svg and also maybe we need to use jpg or jpeg and uh, now these modules will be accepted with typescript and uh, let's see okay now it's good and uh, it is accepted no we don't have any problem and uh, let's see the result okay we need to import the site let's see if it's important no on the left we have this and uh, let's import from site and see the result okay that's good you can see that this scroll is inside of this and this is really good so let's work on this now inside of this side we have this class of that side and inside of this side we have 3d let me show you here we have this profile which is nested and this is the links and this is the info uh, we can use this nested classes with sas and uh, that's good so for the side we can have let's say width of 210 pixel and let's have a border of right border right of 2 pixel solid and rgba of Uh, using this uh, 
values let's format document and see the result okay we need to work on this image and we'll handle them so i say my display is flex but the flex direction is column and also i have a padding of one rem so let's see the result now it is uh, already has a our flow because of our image so we will handle this inside of this profile and uh, inside of this profile you know that uh, we have three different elements so we use display of flex for them and we can simply import dot dot slash dot dot slash mixing and we can simply use the assign include and uh, the flex cc to uh, use flex center center and also we say that our flex direction would be column and our gap would be four pixel between each element let's format the document and see if it's working or not yeah it's also about this and uh, if i work on this image no the problem will be solved so i use this image and you can see that now inside of this site i have that profile and inside of that profile i have an image and i say your width would be 60 pixel and your height would be 60 pixel and also your border radius would be 50 percent to be a circle now let's see the result okay it is not working because yes we need to import the dot slash site dot css now let's see the result okay now you can see that everything is working and we have this beautiful call this beautiful image my username and my password and also links and info and we separated everything with this uh, border right that's good now let's work on the next part which is this span of username so i copy this class and you can see i can uh, close this image and here i need to have the font size of 16 pixel and font weight of ball for my username that's good and also for this full name i will use just font size of 14 pixel that's much more better let's close this expanded username and full name and also all of this profile i don't need to work on this profile that's good now let's work on the next part which is my links and uh, here i'll use this here and close this profile for the links i want to have some links and for every link i want to use a icon so i will create a d for each of them uh, this d will have a class of link and inside of this link first we have uh, let's say icon and also a title and this is the structure and so for this structure you need some icons and you can use the react icons and use for example search for example let's say dashboard you can see that you can use any of them and well, for example this is ri dashboard tree field and import this into your project so i created the codes before to stop wasting our times and you can simply use these codes here and paste them here from the github repository so let me paste them here after this avatar you need to import some icons for example this and this icons and you can also you can use any icon you want i want to use this and because we installed react icons you have access to them so let's create my uh, parts inside of the link the first link is 
جي اي سولت كلاش اند اتس سبان از كلاش كون ليتس سي ذا ريزالت اوكي ذيس از ذا ايكون اند ذيس از ذا تايتل اند يو كان هاف سام ليتس كوبي ذيس Uh, use them again so the next thing is my board sorry the board is here board and for the icon you can use gr score okay and Let's have another one. Class is fa. User friends, and uh, this is the friends. Another one. After friends, we use ti news for the icon, and uh, also news. And uh, after that, use I O M D settings, and here use settings. Let's format our document and see the result. Okay, now we have a problem. Let's see what happened right now. Okay, what is the problem? Okay, it seems that we don't have the connection to this part again, site.css. Okay, let's comment them and see what happened right now. Let's refresh. No, don't uh, refresh. Okay, we don't have any error. Uh, sometimes <laughs> we have these crashes. Now you can see that we have all of them here. Uh, some icons and some texts. And let's work on them right now. So we have them here. So Inside of this that links, I use a flex of one. With this, uh, this part will get all of the remind value to it, and that's good. So after this, we need to use a flex, so we include the flex. But this time, we want to use the dynamic version, and for the justify content, we use flex start, and for the align items, we use flex start and the flex direction would be color let's see the result and okay we need to have a gap of one ram between them and the margin top of two ram and also a margin left of two ram Okay, no, it's really much more better. And also, let's work on this link inside of it. You can see that we have some links. And uh, for this link, we need to use, again, at sign in keyload of the flex, because you want to use this flex dynamically. And for the justify content, we say a space evenly evenly and for the align items it would be center that's good uh, let's have a padding of half of 
rem inside of this link and also let's have a border radius of 16 pixel let i will show you that why i'm using this because i want to have a hover and on hover border radius would be so beautiful so let's have a cursor of pointer and let's see the results okay we have a problem it says that undefined mixing uh -huh. this is the display of flex that's right and let's refresh now you can see this is really good and we just need to have a margin for this and let's work on them now let's inside of this dust link we are using an uh, icon this icon is svg and this is span so we have uh, svg and a span for this svg i see i see your font size would be one and half one of ram and also you need a margin right of one ram let's see the result that's really good and also for this span i copy this quickly and i say this is just one RAM. this font size is one RAM and that's better now let's see what we have we have this svg span that's good and now i want to work on this hover and let me show you that in the regular css you say for example that link dot hover and we work on this but here because we have that link we can simply use this and uh, this is uh, the selector of the parent which is that link here and i say hover and on hover i say you background color would be sharp fff and that's it let's refresh now you can see that we have this and this is the border radius and that's good now let's have a little transition for it and uh, after this cursor of pointer i say i will have a transition for all 300 milliseconds and is in out it's really much more better idea and let's see the result okay that's much more better right now yes that's it really good let's see the links uh, i think it's good for now let's work on the next part which is info so i will minimize this that link uh, this that links and uh, you can see that how good is the sas in big projects and uh, you don't need to have a dozen classes and they are all inside of them and nested classes is a better idea in great project inside of it uh, i want to have two different spans and on the first one i say for, let's say for example super coc by the way thank you supercell for creating this big project uh, and clash of clans i'm talking about it's really a big game and i'm a big fan of it thank you supercell and this is super soc the first span and the next span is v1.0.0 and this is the version let's format document this is the version of our document our, and our project here and inside of this dot info we can say that text align would be center and your color would be gray and also we can use the flex including the flex cc to use this mixing and it means display of flex justify kind of center and aligned items of center and the flex direction would be column and its gap would be let's say half frame and let's see the result refresh okay i have a problem here gap oh yes five no this is really good and i think it's okay and not bad 
So let's close this that info and I think let me show it again. This is good, good and good. So let's continue to the next part. Uh, let's for now let's close this side and this side. And we completed the left side. No, it's time to work on the right side and let's work on it. So we can create a new component for this right side and let's create it so go to the components and create a new folder named for example content or any name you want content is good for me I create a content dot tsx and also a content dot let's say scss and this will be here and this content will be here or afce to create a new component let's delete this import react and import dot slash content dot scss and that's it and uh, let's have a class name of content for this content and inside of this let's say I have a check of content and let's work on this content right now but before that let's import that content here it will be automatically imported and you can also import it manually import content from dot dot slash content slash content component and that's good let's see the result okay now you can see that we have the content on the right side and uh, let's close this home and work on this content no we have this content here inside of this content i want to have two different parts one of them is on the top which is header and the next part is it below so let's create a dot header and inside of this header i want to have a an h1 with class of title and we say keep going and clash on and also after this we need to have an input a simple input the type is text good and we simply we say placeholder is search and let's see the result that's good no this is my header and after this header i will have a main section and here is main cards we will use the cards here and let me copy a lot of them here to show you that this will have a scroll and see the result okay now you can see that we have a scroll but the problem is this place will scroll too so we handle this Let's work this for now and uh, inside of this dot content uh, created dot content which is the main parent and inside of this we say the overflow of y would be a scroll and this line was okay let's refresh this line will be the solution you can see that now just this simple have a scroll and this part is okay and it's fixed and this part have a scroll that's good let's work on it we need to have a width of 100 percent no that's good and also we need uh, this that content to have the flex ability so let's import our mixings here also I say add sign in keyload for this mixing which was the flex the dynamic one and for the justify content I say flex start and for the align items it is center now after this we can use the flex direction of column because I want them to be on the column and let's see the result now everything is the center and that's good keep going and clash on input and the cards 
No, let's continue. You know that we have, let's close them and show you. We have inside this content, we have header and main. So let's create them here. This is a header and also this is a main. Now let's work on them inside of this header. I say your margin top would be one rem. And also inside of header, I have a title. And also an uh, input. Uh, this input is an element tag, so we don't need dot. But this title is a class, so it yes, uses dot. And for this title, I say your font size would be 22 pixel. And your margin button would be one ram. Let's see the result. Okay, that's good. And for this input, I use width of 300 pixel and border of none. Also, outline would be none. It's better and it's be more beautiful. So let's see. That's good. And let's have a padding of 0.6 rem and 1.2 rem and also have a border radius of one RAM would be a good idea. And let's see the result. And that's good. Now I think this is good. And let's minimize this and format the document. And we have this okay no that's good and we can see that this is okay and this is okay and this part it would be the card and we will create a component for them so we want to work on this main here it is just a div and we will work on this div on the cards and we will comment them but let's create a beautiful uh, let's say a beautiful uh, scroll bar for our project and inside of this because i want this scroll bar for this part which is this class the content so after let's minimize this header and i have the header and this main after this main i use this selector again it shows that i want that content and let's say dash webkit scroll bar webkit uh, scroll bar and its width would be 200 pixel. Uh, also, for the WebKit toolbar, sorry, a scroll bar dash track, we say you have a box shadow of inset. 0, 0, 5 px and gray and also you have a border radius of 10 pixel let's see the result now you can see that this is really beautiful and let's work on the next part let me copy this to have a little speed and the next thing is uh, this it's thumb and for the thumb, I say that your border radius is good, but for your background color, I use this color F67, F00. And let's see it. Okay, now that's good. Let's refresh. Really beautiful. And the next thing is I want to work on this. Uh, on hover by the way you can use this hover inside of this there is really no difference and uh, I just change the color on hover and I say that it is 783E00 let's see the result refresh okay not bad uh, I think this is really good uh, I think this part is completed now let's work on this side which is the cards and our main cards so for this i will delete 
them and here I just want to have some cards component now this is the components and we need to create these components here so let's create a new component for them here inside of this component let's create a new folder named uh, cards and inside of it I use cards.tsx and create cards.scss and that's good so let's have these cards here on the right side and here I say rafc that's good and the import dot slash cards dot scss and that's it now we need to import the images and work with them so we need to import the images let's work on them and you can see that we need these images here and let me show you the first one for example we need to import archer from dot dot slash dot dot slash assets slash images slash archer.png and work for on them uh, I will do all of them you can simply copy these lines from the github repository or you can copy them with me I will do them and I will continue the video and that's it so we imported the images you wanted you can use all of them or some of them or anything you want or for example you can use just six of them and simply copy these lines from the github repository and continue with me and just remember that we importing anything from some address so if this address is wrong we will be uh, warned and we will uh, fix it so let's work on them so now i have all of my required in images and i want to work with them but uh, instead of creating a new div for each card which is not a good idea you can have an array and map on that array and this is really a much more better code to maintain and using map on that array for every item on that array you will create a new card so i create a new array for my troops and work with that array. Let me show you what I'm going to do. I create a new array and let's say this array is const uh, troops is an array. Inside of array I have an object for each uh, troop and this is not this is troops and for every troop I have an id. For example let's say one and I have a score for each one, let's say five. And I have a title for them, for example, let's say Archer. And I have SRC for, okay, let's after this. And I have SRC for every of them. For example, here SRC is this Archer. You can see that here, for example, this is Archer. And this is for my first uh, troop. You can use any troops you want. And I will create them and paste them here. So you can use this. And by the way, you can copy these lines from the GitHub repository too. And simply continue with me. So this is my troops. And you can see that I have 18 troops. And each one has its score, its title, and its SRC. And the SRC is this pictures and they are imported from this folder so you can use these troops and work with them let's uh, close this part and continue to develop our cards components and here inside of this i will use a class name of cards and let me show you that what we are going to do inside of this card we have troops so we can simply map on them and i say troops uh, dot map and for every 
troop I will return a new division which has a key of troop dot id and also has a class name of card and inside of it inside of this card let's say i have an image and the src would be the troop dot src and also the alt would be the troop dot title and also after this image I want to uh, have a new uh, let me show you a span for now and the troop dot score and let's format our document no this is our card let's see if it is working or not and we need to import this card component inside of this content and let's import it automatically that's good now let's work on them and let's see the result refresh okay now we have them but you see that okay six and this is <laughs> image you can see that we have them but now we have css styles problem and let's work on the css and see the results okay now i want to work on these cards and did i import it called the css yes so for now uh, the first thing is i want to use the display of flags for this card so uh, the first thing is I will import the mixins dot dot slash dot dot slash mixins and for the let me minimize these troops to show you this first thing is this is my main class of cards and inside of this I will use the in keyload I want to use the deflex and deflex C C work for me and also let me show you that you can use the dynamic one for the justify content you can pass center and uh, for the line items also you can use center and this is another way of using display of flex let's see the result okay it's better but let's uh, you can see that anything is here but it's really soon to see the results let's have a flex direction of row and also let's have a gap of one rem for the uh, cards children and also i need to have a flex wrap of wrap because i want them to be wrapped and this is a good idea to have a, a responsive children's and i use a margin top of three rem let's see if it's changed or not okay that's much more better but it can be also better let's format document again and uh, inside you can see that inside these cards i have so many divisions with class name of card so i will use that card and inside this i say any card have width of 300 pixel and height of 300 pixel and a border of 2 peaks solid and gray or anything you want this is my card oh okay now you can see that the card is here but we have overflow and it's not a problem you can beautifully see the cards and after this let's first let's have the image glasses to see the result quickly 300 and a height of 300 again let's see the result okay now you can see them and they're so good yeah and uh, let's continue working now we have these images now for every card i need to use a box shadow so i will simply include my box shadow one box shadow one now you can see i have this beautiful box shadow and i want to use this overflow of hidden it is a good idea all of our of our flows would be hidden and its position would be relative i i know show you what 
why this is the relative and uh, this is good for the cards and uh, now let's extend another uh, feature I use position of relative because you know that when you want to use anything with position of absolute you need the parent to be with position of relative I want to have a children for them and this is the troops that score but instead of this span I use a division with a class name of let's say uh, stars and after this image it's because it is inside of uh, the card first is image and then dot stars so this is the image and after image I have dot stars so I say your position is absolute let's see it uh, nothing happened uh, it's okay because we have a position of absolute we need to have a, some different uh, specification like top bottom or anything else I say you want to be in the bottom of let's say one rem and in the left of one rem let's see it now you can see them here five three six three one zero and the others and this is really good now we have the stars let's format our document and now we have them but I want them to be a little more beautiful so instead of these troops that score here I cut them and I say that uh, let me show we import a star yes we have a star here uh, I want to show a star uh, for the stars and the score uh, let me say this better for the scores I want to show them by real stars and how we can do this because we have the true dot uh, score we can simply check this with JavaScript and we say that if troop dot score equals to zero yes or no if the troop is zero you can simply show a span and say let's say zero else you can see show the troop that score this is a better idea let's see if it's working or not format document no okay we don't need this because we are already in java script environment and uh, format document okay let's see the result and uh, okay for the zero it will not show a, a number it is shows this zero string and that's good but it can be much more better and uh, instead of this troops that score what we can do now let's say that if the troops that score is the is this uh, is zero show this else I want to have another feature and uh, I want to use let me write it down and then I'll explain it because it may be a little confusing but it's really so easy troop that score okay we have a new array troop that score we fill it with one now I have an array so dot map uh, in this map I will have uh, item and index and for the return we simply return a simple image the SRC of image would be a star and its alt would be a star let's format our document okay and see the result what I've done here instead of that simple number I said that if troop that star is zero you can return a span with zero string but if uh, it is not zero you can simply return a new array with uh, value of troop that scores that fill one so this creates a new array for us for example if the score is three it will create an uh, array with three elements 
and map on that array so we use that map and instead of item and index would be our inputs and we should need this for the key and for each item of that element we will create an image and that image has a source of star and simply that's it let's format the document and see the results okay now you can see that it is working but let's work on that css and let me show you inside of this uh, stars we have position of absolute button left or left and let's say that inside of this if we have an image your width should be 300 pixel width of 300 pixel and height of 300 pixel for my document see the result okay now you can see the result for example for this archer uh, here let me show you for the archer score is 5 so it will create uh, here it will create a new array with 5 elements and fill them with 1 and map on them and it will create 5 stars for the next one which is baby dragon it has a score of 3 so it will create 3 stars using this line and 3 for example this is 206 0 1 3 and this is simply the way of using them now let's check and see if we can do it better for example i can use a background color of rgba of 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 because i have I want to have a little okay now you can see that's much more better but uh, I can have a padding for it padding of 0.2 RAM and 0.5 RAM and also let's have a simple border radius for it border radius and for my document and see the result no, it is really beautiful. And uh, with implementing this, I think it is really good and uh, it is implemented successfully. Now, let's close anything and uh, see what we have here. Now, we have this part here on the left, and uh, this is okay, working correctly. And we have this, and also this, and uh, these lines. Uh, I think our project is completed, but uh, one of the most important thing is the responsiveness of our project and it is really important. So let's see is important is uh, this project responsive or not. So using inspect, you can see that we have different weights here and we have a problem. Okay, uh, you can use a lot of uh, values for checking responsiveness 380 is one of them which is good you can see that okay here we have problem and this is not really responsive so we need to work on this and i want to use a really beautiful way to show you the way i use responsive on my projects let's work on this and uh, it will be working on my project and on my component let me show you inside of this home we have two different parts the site and the content so we need to work on this content and site and by the way the content is already responsive because we used flex wrap and flex wrap is really good things you can see that using flex is a good way to have a responsive website and let's work on the left side for the responsiveness side okay side side and open to the side and minimize this okay that side now let's work on this i want to have a toggle functionality uh, which is when you can uh, click on a button and your menu will be toggled it will be opened and closed and for this we can use simply uh, uh, let's say a state in the react so let's create a new state i say const be open and set open equals to use state 
use a state of false. This use a state should be imported automatically. It will not. So we will import it here. We import use a state from uh, let's say react. And uh, now we have a state for this. Uh, let's create a button for our toggle. And uh, I create a new div with class name of toggle. And uh, you can see that simply we have an error. The error say that J6 expressions must have one parent element. And you know that this is a standard inside of our react project so we will put all of them inside of this fragment and uh, now the problem is solved let's form a document okay now we have a toggle inside of this toggle i will uh, create a new uh, let's say icon and icon is already imported from here with name of fabars so i say uh, fabars is my button and let's see it you can see that this is that button but uh, i want this button to be hidden inside of the normal size so i say dot toggle the display would be now let's see it. okay now this is not showing but i want this to be visible in uh, responsive mode so for responsive mode i use the media query and i say in maximum width of let's say 400 pixel or anything you want i use 500 pixels or 530 pixels and in this media query i want this toggle and this display should be a block now let's form a document and see the result let's refresh that's good so now you can see that it will be showed here that's good let's work on them and have some css classes for them so for this uh, toggle i use the display of block and i say your cursor would be pointer your width is 3 rem your height is 3 rem refresh uh, your background color would be rgb a of 0 0 0 and 0 0.2 for this background color and also i need the position to be fixed because this is my toggle button and it is not related to anything else and uh, it's button would be to ram and uh, for the left and right we use right and i say you be here let's see it okay now it's here you can see that this is the button it's here and after the position we can use a font size of let's say 2 rem or 3 rem 2 rem is good i think okay not bad and after the font size we use a border radius of 1500 because i want it to be a 50 percent sorry to be a circle and use a padding of of rem and also the color of this div would be fff now that is good let's have some z index uh, let's say for example 3 or 4 4 is good no it has z index and uh, you can see that this is on the top of everything because of the z index and you can handle it so i think this is good for the toggle class and uh, after this toggle let's uh, minimize this toggle and 
when we are in these situations i want to have a little change on my the toggle button uh, uh sorry on my side class so in this situation for the side i will say that your position is absolute uh, your height is 100 viewport height and your top is zero and your left is zero and let's see the result refresh okay you can see that it is working but let's change the background color for it to see it better so i say your background color is sharp fff no you can see it uh, it needs <laughs> the index because it is on the behind of everything let's use three this is four everything you know that everything in default is one and no this is four and this is three and that's good now i have this all of features i want and let's have a simple border radius of for example let's say one ram okay but here and here and here i want just these two parts um we can use uh, let's say zero and one ram and one ram and zero this will be this uh, okay no it's much more better and uh, no i want the ability to open and close this this will be really so simple first thing is we need to have the classes change so i say that if uh, the here instead of this side i say that if this side has a class of open after it you need to change the left to anything and in this uh, situation the left should be zero but on the uh, default the left would be so let's see what is the exact way okay 210 pixel so the left would be minus 200 pixel and that's it okay no we need to change this class dynamically and we will do this working this state so when i click on these four bars i will handle this so i say unclick set the open to its opposite opposite of open and that's good and I need to change this class dynamically. So I will create it here. And I say the site class name. And I use that state to be updated automatically. So I say if it's open, you need to be site open. Else you just need to be site. And I use this class name here for this. And I say your class name is site class name. Let's format document and let's see if it's working or not let's refresh and okay you can see that it is working correctly and let me show you here and you can see here it is side and side open side close that's good now let's have a transition for them and uh, after this border radius let's have a simple transition it will be really beautiful for all and let's say 300 milliseconds and also linear now we have a transition refresh okay it's really beautiful isn't it and that's good yes and let's check it again okay it's working but we don't have that hover effect here you can see that we had a hover effect but we changed the background so let's do that again what was the color let's go to the global control p global i want to use this primary color or this one primary two to be the hover of this so inside of this dot open i say that for that link with hover uh, you can use a background color of variable of this let's format now what we have done we say that if the site is open the link hover 
would have this the background color of this uh, let's check that okay now we have that hover effect and i think this is really good um, i think we implemented everything we wanted let's see if we have any error in console or not no refresh no we have these parts here you can see that and we have these cards that's good let's check the responsiveness you can see that in this break point from here it will go to the mobile and it will be automatically set to the device width and the card will be shown because we are using flex wrap and let's refresh okay we have this beautiful button here and by clicking it we will open and close the sidebar so uh, i think this is good and uh, now let's work on the github so uh, let's create github repository for this project i don't want to use my uh, custom account i use my uh, this account which is a uh, dev empower and organizations here i create a new repository let's copy the name from here and inside of package.json let's copy this and coc dashboard react ts this is a tutorial for react type script and this is public create okay we need to work on them right now so let's come here and check everything okay we have these changes that's good let's come here, stage everything and say uh, update commit um, but okay no that's good but let me show everything to you what you need to do okay first is we add this get removed and let's open a new terminal here get removed at original this and the next thing is you need to have this because you need to change the name and that's it and then git push It will push everything to the server but i want to show you that you want you can use another branch and in the meanwhile let me show you what is the branches github GitHub branches. Uh, you can see you can use some different branches when you are working on a project and for any special state which can be a new feature or new version or a bug fix or anything else. You can use some branches and work with them. And now I want to do this. It is pushed. Okay, let's check the result here. Now everything is on the GitHub. But let me show you. I want to use another. Uh, branch here and uh, this branch I will create that using git branch let's say v yek uh, v1.0.0 and uh, let's say git branch dash a now you can see that I have a main and this branch so let me show you here now created this and I choose this branch now I want this branch v 1.1 and uh, let's say that I need to create a new change here no you can see I'm working on this branch and I'm not on the main and this is a better idea because on the next features we can create some new branches and so let's work on this I in this branch v 1.0.0 I change this and I say that coc dashboard with react and typescript this is a simple change 
and I will say update readme and commit and I will publish my branch. So I'm sending this branch to the GitHub and if I come here and I refresh, you can see that now I have two branches, main and this branch. Now let me show you that on the main branch, everything is on its state. Uh, it is here, but in my v1 branch, this is changed. And this is the way we can work on the branches and we create a pull request for any branch we want to merge on the, the main branch. So here inside of this uh, branch v1, I say compare and pull request and I will send my changes to the main, update readme, create a pull request. And an admin can uh, admit and confirm this merge request or in GitHub it is pull request, but in GitLab it is merge request. So I will merge it, confirm. Okay, let's go to the COC dashboard. Now you can see that it is here on the main branch and we have some different branches. So you can use this state here. And this is exactly the way we can handle our change inside of the uh, GitHub project. So on the future, if I want to have some different versions, I can simply create a branch for each of them and have the, have the code separately. And you can use this branch, for example, to see the code for this moment. And this is the uh, final topic about the branch and the Git uh, commits here inside of this Git, uh, GitHub website. So I hope this uh, project helps you. And uh, thank you. Goodbye.